click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have did the nomenclature of phenol that is the common system as well as the IUPC system. And now in this topic we are going to cover that is the structure of phenol. So now let us understand what is the structure of phenol. <music> So friends, in this topic, we are going to talk about the structure of phenol. We clearly understand that is the OH group is attached to the carbon atom of an aromatic ring. So for example, if I am considering the phenol, which consists of, suppose if I am considering benzene ring. So obviously in benzene ring, I could find that is there is an alternative carbon, carbon double bond as well as carbon, carbon single bond. So that is the reason that the OH that is basically attached to the carbon atom over here, obviously, because as we can see, that is this carbon can be a carbon, carbon double bond. So that's the reason that this carbon is nothing but sp2 hybridized carbon atom and this oxygen atom obviously it consists of that is lone pair of electrons so i'm writing it over here in this manner so this oh group that is attached to the sp2 hybridized carbon atom will make this oxygen atom basically more electronegative the reason behind that is so this oxygen atom that is attached to the system or the that is attached to the conjugated system here over here as you can observe so here basically the oxygen and this carbon will have a distance of i would write it over here as 136 picometer this distance is comparatively less if we talk about the carbon of an alcohol and the OH group of the alcohol. So the reason behind that is because of this conjugated system or because of this delocalization of electron and this oxygen consists of two lone pair of electrons also. So this two lone pair of electrons can also be introduced in that is resonance or basically delocalization of electron. And that is the reason that the distance between this carbon atom and this oxygen atom is found to be 136 picometer which is less compared to that of an distance between carbon and OH of an alcohol. So this was related to the distance of it and now let me talk about the bond angle so the bond angle between the carbon atom over here and this oxygen atom and this hydrogen atom it is basically found to be 109 degree the reason behind that is because as we can observe that is the oxygen consists of two lone pair of electrons over here and that's the reason that there could be a possibility of lone pair bond pair repulsion and that's the reason that the bond angle is 109 degree but now let me talk about the polarity also so if you talk about the oxygen atom obviously the oxygen atom is more electronegative compared to that of carbon or compared to that of a hydrogen atom so that's the reason that this oxygen atom will have a partially negative charge while this carbon atom and this hydrogen atom will have partially positive charge on it so now we are coming to the topic that is polarity so if we talk about alcohols then the oxygen atom and the hydrogen atom they are very much polar to each other the reason behind that is oxygen is more electronegative and hydrogen is more electropositive but if we talk about this phenol so in this case as i said earlier only that is this oxygen atom consists of lone pair of electrons and this lone pair of electrons are being involved in the delocalization of electrons so that is the reason that the polarity of this oxygen atom and this hydrogen atom actually it decreases so that's the reason the polarity of phenol is less than the polarity of alcohol so this was related to the structure of phenol as well as few physical properties that i have mentioned over here or based on the structure of it so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this concept very clearly and i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe ekita channel thank you so much